It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Cooper's Brewery in Australia. And it's not just any old Cooper's Ale. <laughs> Did you get that? Um, I love Cooper's Ale. It's a really good beer. Um, Cooper's Brewery is, um, Cooper's Ale is their most famous beer. It's sold all over the world. Um, you can find it in the UK if you look hard enough. But this isn't just an ordinary Cooper's Brewery beer. This is the Vintage Ale, 2022 Vintage Ale. So they're following the lines of, say, someone like Fuller's Brewery who bring out a Vintage Ale at Christmas every year. So I really enjoyed Fuller's Vintage Ale. I had a bottle of the 2022, the Vintage 2022. So it'd be really nice to, because I had that fairly recently, It'd be really nice to compare that British brewed vintage ale to a Australian brewed vintage ale. Seasonal release 2022, 7.5% ABV. Now, I think, I think that Fuller's vintage ale is 7.5% ABV as well. It's in a 355 milliliter bottle, not a 330 milliliter bottle, like we're used to in the UK. There's the bottle cap. I'm super, super excited for this one. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at the smoke. Look at that smoke on the bottle opening. I've not seen smoke like that in a long time. That's put a smile on my face. Look at that. It was a twist off cap. I didn't think it was going to be a twist off cap. It's a big thing in Australia, you know. Psh, blum, blum, blum. It's a big thing, a twist off cap in Australia. Um, but being a vintage ale, I thought it'd be a kind of a cappy cap cap, you know, bottle opener cap. Right, let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Um, I think that's the maybe one of the founders of Cooper's Brewery right there on the bottle. Here we go. Oh, look at this. It's, it, it's, to be honest with you, it's looking. It's got the look of Fuller's Vintage Ale. It really has. That looks fantastic. Bottle, con bottle conditioned beer. You can see it's bottle conditioned by the... The haziness. And I want to give a shout out to the wonderful friend that I have in Australia. His name is Trav. And uh, we speak quite a lot on Instagram. He, send, he sends me loads of those like jokey videos on Instagram that makes me laugh. Uh, what was the recent one? The recent one was about... Um, I think it was about um, traffic jams or something in Australia. Or he went, uh, there was a bloke in, in the video who went up to um, another bloke who was working. And it was like Australian slang. You've got to go round there, up there, down there. That, that sort of kind of like, we have it in Wales as well. We have that same kind of local, yokel type person. Um, it's quite funny. Uh, the other video we sent, and I've been watching his videos ever since, is anybody watching Uncle Sink on Instagram? I've been watching all his videos. He does this magic thing where he pops a bottle cap off, right? Puts the beer to his mouth and he does this sort of like... He swirls it round and then, and then all of a sudden the beer is disappearing down his neck. It's like... <laughs> swirls it. Down it goes. And he drinks a whole bottle and it's like... And then, and then he's like, oh, you can see him burping and then ending the video quickly. Because sometimes he probably spews up. <laughs> but yeah, I watch a bit of Uncle Sink as well. And that's down to Trav in Australia. So a um, little bit of carbonation. On the glass of beer. Lovely hazy looking beer. Two finger uh, slightly off white head. Looks really good. This Let's get the aroma. Smells really good. And there's a little bit, a little level of sweetness in here, which I quite like. Sweetness, but 
a little bit of bitterness as well. It smells great. Biscuity, malty, bready. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Straight away, I'm going to be slightly controversial here. Slightly controversial and say, that's better. That's better than Fuller's Vintage Ale. That is a stunning, stunning example of a vintage ale. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of dryness. And the reason why I say little bit of dryness is because I find Fuller's Vintage Ale to be quite dry. It's quite a dry beer and you pick up a little kick of alcohol from the Fuller's Vintage Ale. This is much more well-rounded. You've got that sweetness, you've got a little bit of bitterness, lovely mouthfeel, carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, but it's much more well-rounded. Not, you're not necessarily picking up a big kick of alcohol or, you know, it's not drying your mouth like... Fuller's Vintage Ale does. It's actually very refreshing and dangerously, dangerously drinkable. Oh, it's fantastic. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! So, it starts off sweet and then bitter. With a, with a rich, creamy body in the middle. It's peppery and spicy and bitter on the back end. After tasting the beer, that's what I'm getting right now. I'm kind of feeling that bitterness in the throat. It's really good. It's really good. It's definitely a Stone the Crows beer. Definitely a Stone the Crows beer. Um, before I go on, I just want to read a little bit of bum from the back of this bottle because I think it's important. Um... Uh, using the finest ingredients, our own Cooper's malt, prime seasonal hops, and our cherished ale yeast, this naturally conditioned ale exhibits a generous, well-balanced aroma and flavour. Dr. Tim Cooper, managing director and chief brewer. So that's great. It's still in the family. It's still in the Cooper's family, which is lovely. Um... See, the, the only thing that I would like is, because I'm drinking this, I mean, I mean okay, I, I'm probably not likely, like you can buy Cooper's Sparkling Ale or Cooper's Ale in, a, in quite a few places in the UK, or you used to be able to buy it anyway, you're probably not likely to buy this. So, because you're not likely to buy this, um, it's been exported by Trav, hard working cash send it over to me uh, not the cash but the beer um and <laughs> there's no real explanation as to who this guy i mean probably most australian beer drinkers probably know who this guy is because he's probably one of their kind of founding fathers of beer if you like so it's probably mr cooper isn't it it's probably the original mr cooper but I'd like a little bit of information on the back of the bottle as to as to kind of just to just to confirm it, just to confirm it is. It probably is, but um, who knows? But it's a wonderful beer. It's a, a seasonal release every Christmas. Uh, no additives, no preservatives. Australian made, Australian owned. So uh, one thing I'm going to say, and um, have I got another Australian beer here? Pardon me. Uh, very quickly. Uh, right. Now, I feel that Cooper's decided to put Australian made and Australian owned on the front of the bottle because they haven't put the Certified Independent. Now, this is from Black Hops Brewery in Australia. 
and it's a certified independent Australian craft beer. Can you see that little tag there on the label, on the can? Now, my suspicion is that you've probably got to pay for that tag. And my suspicion is that two things are going on here. Either Cooper's Brewery are kind of like there's a shareholding and and lots of different people own different pieces of the pie, if you like. So they can't call themselves independent. Or they don't want to pay for that stamp on the bottle. So they're the two reasons in my head why they haven't gone down the independent Australian route, but they've gone Australian made, Australian owned. That's fair enough for me. That's fair enough. That shows that it's not Coca-Cola or it's not um, Molson Coors or anyone else big that, that owns this brewery. It shows that it's still independent, independent and you still have Dr. Tim Cooper, who's the managing director and chief brewer in charge of this, this, this brewery. So good signs, good signs there. The other good signs is look at the lacing. Look at that lacing on the glass. It looks fabulous. Look at the beer as it rolls around in the glass. Looks equally magnificent. It's a terrific beer. It really is. Great head, great taste, great mouthfeel. Biscuity, bready, nutty, hoppy. Lower raisin like. Little bit sweet. Then bitter on the back end. Fantastic beer. Fantastic vintage it really is. I love that. And thank you to Trav for sending. Thank you to Trav in Australia for sending me this beer. Perfect. I'm not going to do an uncle sink and swirl the glass around and whoosh, you know fly it down my neck. I'm not going to do that. But I am going to rate it. I am going to rate it. Cooper's vintage ale. I think it's better. I think it's better than Fuller's Vintage Ale. I think it's, it's less dry. It might be a bit more sweet. It might be a bit more bitter. But that gives it more balance. Um, it's got a little bit more of a mouthfeel as well than Fuller's Vintage Ale. But yeah, I like it. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!